Hi everybody, it's Jessica and it's Trusting True to Row, you guys. I had an awesome time in Miami. So I want to give a shout out real quick to some of the people who have donated to my channel. Maria Merkel, um, Victoria, Gorgeous Hair, Stacy, <laughs> Kathy, Susan. Also, you guys, um, Angelique. I think it's Landa Hernandez, okay, Brandy. So you guys, if I haven't shout you out, I will on the next video. But I had a wonderful time in Miami, you guys. I really did. I really enjoyed myself, okay? So sorry, you guys, for the delay. Let's get into this reading. Thank you guys so much for being a part of my channel. Everyone, I love it, you guys. I love you guys so much. I love you guys for being here with me, showing up with me. Thank you for the likes, the comments, okay, the subscription to my new subscribers, my old subscribers. And I could have sworn someone, um, like I'm up here, like I, I was telling someone on the last thing, like I, I need to get a new right away. Something about my right away decks, you guys, I just, I use them so they're just like worn out. I don't know what it is. I love my right away deck. So I have to figure out one of my subscribers. I have to shout you out on the next one. Donate it for me to get some more cards. Another um, right away deck. Thank you so much for that. So I'm going to have to definitely shout you out in the next one. Okay. Let's see. What is the channel message for my beautiful, beautiful Pisces? What is the message for my beautiful Pisces? Oh, Pisces, you guys are going to kill me, right? Opening these personal readings up. <laughs> I'll be opening personal readings up this month. And I was thinking about next week, but either way, I'm going to go ahead and put my email address below, okay, in the description box below so that, so that you guys can go ahead and start emailing me um, if you want a personal reading, okay? I will not have these personal readings open for long, okay? I can only take but so much. So let's see, my beautiful Pisces. What is the channel message? What is the channel message that I need to give to some of my Pisces, my viewers? What is the message that I need to give to my Pisces, my viewers here? My subscribers. Ooh, King of Pentacles, Pisces. You could be dealing with the Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus energy. Okay, let me just tune into this energy here. <sighs> hmm. Wow. Okay. I just have to go with what I'm feeling right now. I just heard that someone's being ordered. Someone's being ordered to tell someone something or someone's being kind of like, I don't know. It's like someone's being told what to do in regards to you. Someone's being ordered to do something in regards to you. Could be a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius in this situation. But it's like... And the King of Pentacles is someone actually realizing the responsibility that they have in this situation. So there's there someone's actually they they know that they have responsibility or they have some type of sense of duty or responsibility or obligation or commitment here to you in a situation. And I feel like they're being ordered. So someone's being told something here in regards to you. It's like someone saying, hey, you should have done this. You are letting your pride or your ego get in the way. Or it's like, you know, who are you? Why are you behaving this way towards Pisces? Who, do, who are you showing off for? Why are you acting this way? You know, someone's actually feels like, I'm not going to say reprimanding, but someone is definitely getting on this person case here about you. It's like, you should be ashamed of yourself. How does this make you feel? How does this make you feel as a person, as a father, as a as a mother, as a human being? Like someone's like saying, you should you should do this, or you're letting your pride or your emotions or whatever get in the way. 
it's like you owe this person something. Maybe this is an apology. I feel like this person feels something here, right? Oh, but it's like they don't want to admit this. Nine of Cups, King of Cups, and Reverse. This could be a Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer for some of you guys. Yeah, someone's in, someone's in their emotions and their feelings about the situation. Someone feels like they may not want to show you something, emotions or feelings or whatever. Hmm. I'm hearing that maybe someone feels like you don't deserve something. Okay, but it's more of there's some type of unrealistic, you know, expectations or emotions and feelings here that this person had or they feel in regards to you. And honestly, that nine of swords in reverse is letting me know that this person is realizing it or they're consciously aware. They're consciously aware of something here in regards to their part or someone's definitely forcing them to see something here on their part. Okay. Yeah. The chariot. Cancerian energy. Yeah. So someone here. Wow. Yeah. Cause I, I totally feel like someone was truly against something here. They couldn't get out of their own way or their own emotions or their own feelings in regards to you. But for some reason, I feel like this is positive because I feel like this is the king of pentacles and the chariot. Someone's actually like, it feels like someone's moving out of their own way. It's like they're trying to move out of their own way, move out of their own, whatever, whatever it is that, that, that was holding them back. This could be their own snobbish attitude, views, way of thinking, whatever it was. You know, I feel like this is someone here who's trying to do what they need to do. And it's like they're choosing a direction and choosing to move forward here. They're choosing a new direction here in regards to you. But the Eight of Pentacles with the Ace of Swords. Okay. This is what I'm seeing here. Let me show you guys. Someone's trying to move away from something. Could be friends, group of people, a connection, a relationship, a certain background of people. Um, something that they were putting a lot of their focus and energy into. Tell me more. They were putting a lot of their focus, their energy into maybe what another person felt or thought or, or something like that. It was a group, okay? Um, or a certain group of people or a certain person. Tell me more. Ooh, Queen of Wands energy. Yeah. All right. You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So there could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. There's a lot of people in this energy. It's nothing but people coming out. So we have nothing but Quarans. We have Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. We have Cancerian energy. We have an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Yeah. Someone here, I feel like this person does want to move away from something. I feel like they're wanting to move past something, move away from something. Maybe it's a person, a situation. They are ready to lay their burdens down. They're ready to move forward. Do you understand me? They're ready to get out of this situation. They're ready to move past this. They're ready. Someone is ready to go. You hear me? They're ready to go. And I feel like they have been waiting, contemplating, thinking, you know, deciding, indecisive. And I feel like someone is finally getting the passion, the desire, the willpower to move. Tell me more. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Again, a lot of quarants here, a lot of people, a lot of things showing up. Okay. I feel like there may be another situation standing in this person's way. I feel like this person may feel like there's another person, another situation standing in their way in some way. Tell me more. It's almost like they're trying to make something right with someone else. Temperance. Yeah, peace, healing. That's what I was fucking saying. Three of cups. Like someone's trying to... Three of cups in reverse. Yeah, six of wands. This has a lot to do with a crowd, a group of people, what other people feel, what other people think. See, someone may be trying to... It's weird. It's like someone's like... It's almost like, well, first I have to make sure this person is okay with this. It's like someone's trying to make sure that someone else is okay with something before they 
make this they're 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 in the process of a decision they're moving they're they're um what it looks like is that they have really became secure with whatever decision that they want to make in regards to you but there's still someone here that's standing in the way that they're more concerned about how that person is going to react or feel could be a sagittarius energy here too so it's like someone's almost not planting seeds here with you based off of how this will how this will affect someone else's emotions or feelings but I feel like this person does want a peaceful resolution here with you, Pisces. I do. I just feel like it's like they're having to consider something else or someone else in this situation before they start to plant some type of seed here with you. Um, it almost, Also, I'm getting that they could, I don't know why I'm getting this energy that it's like... It's like they want to make sure that someone else is secured or someone else is okay before they come towards you in regards to some type of peaceful resolution or harmony here with you. So I don't know why I'm getting this energy that I, I'll wait before I say that. Tell me more. I'll just say it. I feel like there's someone that thinks that that this is bad news. Like, it's, it's like someone else thinks that maybe this is a bad idea for them to do this. Tell me more. Or do something towards you or plant seeds here with you or whatever it is. Tell me more. Whatever it is that they're trying to do here with you. Whoever this person is, they want peace here with you. They want a peaceful resolution here with you. Seven of Cups in reverse. I feel like this person is running out of options. I feel like they are. I feel like the only thing that they feel the next thing it is to do here with this Queen of Pentacles here and this Five of Swords here um, is kind of nurture a conversation here with you. A conversation, maybe um, words, things that were done wrong or said that was ill or, you know, something that was spoken ill will in some way. Um, I kind of really feel like they're trying to look for a way out of that situation. Okay. A way around it. I honestly feel like they don't see any other options. The magician. Yeah, this person is trying to manifest. That's what I'm saying. They're trying to manifest some type of peace here with you. Like someone wants to bring, someone really wants to offer love to you, some type of emotional offer to you. I feel like somebody wants to, um, look at this. <laughs> I feel like really somebody really wants to just find some type of peaceful resolution or they kind of really want to find some type of peace in the situation here with you, a peace of mind. I feel like this person may want to have a reconciliation here with you, a second chance at something, another go at something. But with the two of cups and the ace of swords, they may feel like they don't know the right words or what to say to you, but they are wanting to manifest something here. They, it's like they want to manifest themselves out of some type of confusion here with you. Tell me more. Yeah. Wow. Six of cups. Somebody wants to equal give and take in love with you, Pisces. No lie. The cards don't lie. Someone wants an equal give and take in love with you. They it's like they wish that they could erase the past. I'm hearing that, like with the Seven of Cups of Magician here, I don't know, I'm hearing that they wish that they could, it's like I wish that I could take something back or erase what happened. Has the dust settled here in the present moment? Because we have the Tower, the Hangman, and the Eight of Pentacles here in reverse. So, yeah, like this has a lot to do with something that they weren't, something that they were battling you on. I feel like they may have been uh, giving you pushback they weren't working with you. They were working against you. They weren't willing to compromise. This, this whole situation caused some type of blowout or disaster here. And I do feel like whoever this person is, they do really want to have this equal give and take in love with you. They want to, ex they want to be able to um, manifest something how it was in the past with you. They want to be able to, they want things to be like they were in the past is what it looks like. This person is still passionate about you. Tell me more. 
That's weird. Anyway. Yeah. They want a family. They want abundance. They want happiness. Like, the cards don't lie, Pisces. Like, this person really wants, oh, my God. They want to lay their burdens down. They want to move past something. They, mo they want to move forward, and they want to lay their burdens down, like, um, to a situation here. Wow, Pisces. I feel like, wow, I don't know who this person is. For some of you guys, it's maybe somebody you're married or committed to, or there could have been almost a commitment or marriage on the table from you and this person, um, some type of, yeah. I feel like this is definitely, there could be like a Cancerian energy, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, emphasis on the Sagittarius in this energy, but yeah. This person is still passionate about some type of happy ending here with you. Some type of emotional happiness, bliss, family, abundance, being together. Wow. Yeah, in the near future, I'm not sure if you see this, but there will be a peaceful resolution here. There will be healing to this to this family situation. You don't it may not be happening just yet. For some of you guys it is happening. But I'm seeing a peaceful resolution. I'm seeing harmony. I'm seeing bliss. I'm seeing like, you know, families like I'm seeing re, some like reunited. Like, you know, reuniting together, someone um being bringing in a more positive emotional connection here to this connection. Wow. Or to this family situation partnership friendship tell me more yeah the high priestess in reverse so i feel like in the present moment yeah you're dealing with someone that's why i was just thinking like with the world in reverse like someone just really feels like they're they don't have any closure they feel like they don't have any closure they may not be telling you this but they don't feel like they have closure and i feel like with this three of swords and this death i really feel like this person is really in suffering they feel like they're in suffering or they're in need of some type of healing Okay, from a situation here with you. I feel like they're in dire need or in desperation. Not desperation. I was yeah, it could be desperation, but it does feel like they're in dire need. Okay. They feel like the time has come. With the will of fortune being in reverse, the three of swords and the death, I feel like someone feels like it's like I can't keep I can't keep going on like this. I can't keep moving in this negative energy, this mental anguish, this heartbreak, this pain. Like someone is just saying, I can't keep moving like this. I can't keep going on like this. I, I can't go on like this anymore. Someone is saying, I can't go on like this anymore. And that's why they're in this dire or desperate need to heal from this or to heal a situation here with you. Or maybe there's multiple people involved. Maybe there's a child involved. Maybe there's someone else involved. Maybe there are family members or friendships. So yeah. And I feel like with this high priestess here too, I feel like it speaks of things like being kind of hidden and unsure. And so I feel like they have been really unsure, okay? Unsure of what you're feeling. Unsure of if what they're feeling is right. Unsure of if this is the right choice or right decision or is it the right time to do this. Tell me more. Like, is this the best choice, the best option, the best decision right now? You know, is this, is this the, is it, I'm just hearing, is it, you know, it's now or never, should I do this now? Should I manifest this now? This is what they're truly feeling. And they're trying to, um, it's so weird. Like they're having a hard time trusting their intuitions. Okay. But I feel like whoever this person is, they know that they should not seek advice or clarity from outside people anymore. They know they shouldn't do that. And that's why I feel like, I feel like they're almost trying to hide this from someone else or not really, like not really include someone in this situation because they already know how this person may feel about you um, but they also realize that this person did not always feel this way about you so they're also realizing they're realizing something here I feel like they're taking more in, into consideration of what they desire, of what they need, of what's going to make them feel secure, okay? What's going to make them feel better? 
Tell me more. Mm -hmm. The moon in reverse. Whoa. So in the past, this person was really confused. They were really, really confused in regards to some type of change that needed to happen. Yes. Wow. I really feel like there was a lot of fear, the fear of un like the fear of what's going to happen, the unknown. This is somebody here who really wanted to kind of like commit to something here with you or they were committed to something and they knew that they had a sense of duty or obligation or something here that they want to do. Some type of sense of, yeah, um, security. They wanted to feel they wanted to do something here to, for you out of respect or out of nurture or out of obligation or something like this. But it's like they were so confused and they weren't sure. But they knew with the death card here, they knew that something needed to change. But it was just like, just the unknown. And I feel like, again, someone was letting them have it. Could have been a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Cancerian energy, Pisces energy. Someone was letting Scorpio energy. Someone was telling them. Someone was tired of like, there was another person in a situation that may have been, like I said, telling this person about themselves. Uh, yeah, they didn't like it. They didn't want to hear it. Uh, but someone spoke the truth. Someone told someone... The, there was somebody in this situation that told this person something that they didn't want to hear, but it was for their, it was for their highest good. It was for the best. They needed to hear this. This was change. They needed to hear this. They needed to hear something for a change instead of like everyone telling them that, you know, what you're doing is right. What you're, you no, know, you're not doing anything wrong. Like they needed, and, and it could have been that they needed to hear it from this specific person, but someone opened up and communicated to this person. And the moon in reverse is like, it's also like things being revealed. Truth, something becoming clear. Something becoming very clear to them. Wow. Tell me more. Yeah, seven of wands. Wow. 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 Okay. I feel like someone, okay, this is so weird because you're dealing with somebody who was like, may have been like fighting against you or fighting to see something. And now they're fighting to, this is more of them standing up, standing up to something here. The truth was real. Um, I don't know why I'm getting this energy where To me, this is like someone standing up to these people because the Six of Wands is victory. And it's a lot of people here cheering this person on. But in reverse, these are people that may be cheering you on for the wrong things. You know, there's a group of people around this person cheering this person on for the wrong things here. You know, giving this person a big head, making them feel like what they're doing is right. And now they're like, no, I don't want any parts of this anymore. Get away from me. You know, you people are not my friends. You people were never for me. Um, you cause a lot of confusion, a lot of disruption is what I'm saying. You cause a lot of like, you cause me to feel unclear. Uh, you cause me to ignore my emotions and feelings to, it's like, wow, they're realizing that someone really basically caused them to be very confused in regards to you okay like these per these people they weren't or this person they see the truth now they see the truth about who was really for them who really cared about them it's like it's like they're seeing who's really their family who's really their friends who's really their foe they're seeing it now. They're no longer confused. They're no longer in a daze. They're, they're no longer being, um, you see how the seven of cups, it can also be temptation. They're no longer being tempted. They're no longer, you know, being tempted by whatever it is that was offers and things that was presented to them that they felt was going to make them feel good at the time. Like they're seeing this now. They're cutting through all of this. Four of Wands in reverse. Mm. Yeah. So I 
The Four of Wands is a sense of community, stability. I feel like what was going on is that maybe this was like this person fighting for or really kind of trying to stay in a situation that was really unstable for them. I don't know why I get this energy that these same people that were cheering them, them on in the beginning, they're not doing it. They may have left this person high and dry in the Seven of Wands. They may have left this person high and dry with this moon here in the Seven of Wands and they're seeing this. It's weird. It's almost like I'm getting this energy where someone is seeing who's who's fake and who's real. I'm seeing who's fake and who's real. I'm seeing who was there for me, who loves me, who care about me, and who didn't. And this could be somebody, family member, communicating to this person like this, or this could be, you know, what they feel about you. So someone's realizing who's fake and who's real, who's not for them, who's who's trouble, who's you know, who's good. Tell me more. Wow. I just heard that this person also realized that they broke up a happy home. Wow. King of Wands. This person may be also realizing that they tore down something that they could have built here with you or that they allowed someone to tore down something that they could have built here with you, whether it was a friendship, a family. Hold up though. Five of Swords here. Ooh. And the Will of Four. Okay. This person's perception is so, like, this person's perception is, like, kind of, like, all over the place, too. Because one minute, it feels like they're seeing that someone tore down something, or they feel like they're getting this energy that someone may have, like, caused them some type of instability here. And I don't know if this person blame you for something here in regards to their stability, a sense of community, home, projects, whatever. But I feel like this person continues to go back. They, it's like this energy where they go back and forth between, they go back and forth between like, I'm going to give an example. They go back and forth between whether you are the person who caused this instability in their life or if someone else outside of them or the people around them may have caused this for you and them. And I feel like they have a hard time picking, which makes them, with, let me show you, because this is the card that I saw behind here, which makes them kind of keep being stuck in this energy with this mental anguish here. Because it's like, it's like they need to make a decision on how they feel about this. I feel like they're hiding the fact that they want bliss, happiness, a family here with you. And they still feel something here with you. They, they wish things they wished or hoped things were like they were in the past with you, okay? But a part of them kind of still feel that you may have gotten in the way of something for them. I feel like sometimes it's almost like they don't know who to blame. They don't know who to blame in this situation. And it's so sad because what I'm seeing is that Part of, like I said, with this King of Pentacles, there's a lot of confusion in the past. Like, part of them is, like, wanting to, it's so weird, like, take some type of responsibility and move towards you in a peaceful resolution. But then it's like they go back to the blame game. How, what could have happened? What could have been blah, 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 who did this? Like, it's like they go back to this. And then we have the King of Wands here in reverse. So we have the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. We have a pair here. This is so weird. It's almost like someone feels like you may have like messed something up for them, but at the same time, they, ew, this is so weird. It's like someone may have like caused them some type of instability within their home or whatever. But then at the same time, 
they also see you as home. They also see you as someone that they are, that they could have this, that they have a strong soulmate connection here with. And I feel like they just, they don't, they just don't want to face it, stick to it, stick to the facts or see it. They just, oh, this is so crazy. <laughs> Give me one more card. Last card here. Yeah, the fool in reverse. That's what I'm saying. And their overall energy of you is the queen of cups. We have the king of cups here in reverse too. So yeah. Mm -mm. Okay. Wow. You know what? I feel like, I hate to say it. I feel like this person they put a great deal of energy in ignoring these emotions and feelings that they have for you. And this is why, this is why they can't see what's truly the problem, what's truly the issue. They, you know, it's like, because they put in a whole, they put in a great deal of energy of like closing their emotions and feelings off from you. Um, telling themselves that they never cared about you or that they never love you. And as long as they do that, as long as they continue to act like you, as long as they continue to act like you never, like they never opened their heart up to you or they never felt anything for you or they never cared for you or they never loved you the way that you love them or they never, as long as they kind of continue to tell themselves that, it's going to be really, it's going to, it's going to be even more difficult for them to get out of this King of Wands energy where it feels like narcissistic or rejecting or, you know what I'm saying? Um, Aries energy, like, it's like they're being naive and they're being foolish here to something in regards to you. It's almost like, yeah, they're being very naive or they're being very foolish in regards to something here that they feel that they know is true. They're not trusting their intuition. It's like almost like running away or rejecting or like demanding not to see it, demanding not to feel it, demanding to not acknowledge it. Like this can't be real when it is real. What's real is that Maybe what Pisces said is true. Maybe what someone else is telling you is true. And you do really love this person. You do really care about this person. You know, um, you do feel like this person is your happiness or whatever it is, but you want to allow yourself to open up to that. You want to allow yourself to see it. You want to allow yourself to open up to the fact that that's really how you feel. You know, I just feel like this is somebody here who's more of stick. I don't want to say, yeah, they're, they're being trying to be very practical about things. But at the same time, they won't allow themselves to open up to you or they won't allow themselves to admit that they love you, they care about you, they miss you. It's like, wow, it's so sad. And I feel like this King of Pentacles is like this snobbish energy, this snobbish energy where you know that you need to do something or make something happen or move towards what you desire or want. Um, but it's like, you want to allow your heart to be in it. This person will not allow their heart or their emotions to be in this when it already is. And it's like, you know, Pisces, you know, this person's heart, or you know that this, you know what this person feels, or you know how this person feel about you. Um, even though you're in your emotions and feelings about this person, you know deep down inside, but you have closed your emotions off to this person so that you won't get hurt by this person anymore. And they're ignoring these emotions and feelings that they feel for you. And I feel like they're being very um, reckless or very naive or very foolish to do this. And they know it. They know they are. They're trying to ignore something that is honestly visible. And I feel like it's not just visible to you, Pisces, but I feel like it's visible to people around them because who would like, it's, I feel like it's visible to someone that's communicating with them or talking to them. And I feel like, again, the high priestess, like in the, in the future, I feel like this person is really trying to like hide the fact that they do want peace here with you. They do want a peaceful resolution here with you. They do want harmony here with you. They do want um, intimacy here with you or a connection. They, they still feel it. They still want this. They still desire this. And honestly, it's like, who are you fooling? They're rejecting this emotional connection. They're rejecting this soulmate connection. 
that they have for you. And it's so weird because the feelings are still mutual. The feelings are still mutual between both you guys. It's just that one person may have closed it off in order to protect their emotions. And this person is um, doing this out of like, I don't know, it's like ego or feeling like, you know, you've done something and <laughs> it's like they don't want to look at it. They don't want to look at it in a different way. It's like they're refusing to look at it from a different, in a different way. Oh, goodness. What's the message I need to get to Pisces here in regards to this person? I just saw forgiving and learning. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmation, visualization help bring you together. Tell me more. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Okay, so you're dealing with somebody who truly, truly has a deep sense of you and them coming together. They have a deep feeling. It's a deep inner knowing. It, it's unexplainable. They feel it. They know it. Um, deep down inside, they may know that you guys are going to be back together. They feel in insight. Like they're not acting on it, though. They're trying to find every excuse with the Seven of Cups and Seven of Wands. They're trying to find every excuse not to act on this. Like the action cards here, we have the Four of Wands and the King of Wands in reverse. So not to act on this in some way with the Fool in reverse, not taking a leap of faith. This person deep down inside, they know that you guys... Or they know deep down inside that maybe even just a phone call, maybe just reaching out to you will help bring you guys together again. They know it. And I feel like worth waiting for. I feel like this is them like waiting and waiting, knowing that this is just time passing. That's what I'm saying. Like it's almost like they're waiting for the right time to call you. Because this is what they, this is deeply what they feel. This is deeply what they want. This is deeply what they desire, honestly. They deeply desire this, though. And it's like they won't act on it. Maybe their pride, something's getting in the way. Tell me more. Yeah, playfulness, that's what I'm saying. To recapture, to recapture, that's what they're trying to do. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. That's what I'm saying. This person wants to, it's like, see how these two people are in the cards? This is how you and this person used to be. You guys used to be so playful, so loving. You guys used to be all up under each other. You guys used to be so youthful. So it was just like so carefree at one time. Like you guys used to dote on each other. This is what used to be. And I feel like that's what they want to recapture. Tell me more. And they know that this can happen with one phone call or just if they reach out to you. This has a lot to do with reaching out to you. Somebody wants to reach out to you. Give me one card. Yes, heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Like, yes, yeah, someone wants to reach out to you. Oh my God. Someone wants to reach out to you that have been like rejecting a phone call that has not willing ha that has not been willing to see your point of view, that has been pulling away, that has not been listening to other people that has, you know, whatever. This person is wanting to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. This person wants to talk to you. They want to reach out to you. They want to call you. They want to talk to you about their feelings. Worth waiting for in playfulness. Give me one card. Worth waiting for in playfulness. What do I need to tell Pisces? Yeah, deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Okay, overall energy is soulmate. So this is your soulmate, Okay. This is a soulmate connection. Yes, this is your soulmate. This is a soulmate connection. You have a soulmate. Maybe, yeah, I feel like you have a um, you have a past with this person, but you definitely have a soulmate connection to this person. And this is so sad. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Deception. That's what I'm saying. Someone's like, someone's lying to other people, lying to themselves. Um, someone's constantly telling this person, like, 
you know, do you love Pisces? Do you care about Pisces? What is it to make you act this way with Pisces? Why are you acting this way? Like you're still acting like this after all these years, after all these months, blah, 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 blah. And I feel like they're lying. Like they're telling someone, oh, I don't care about Pisces. I don't love Pisces. I have no feelings for Pisces. I don't desire Pisces. I don't care about Pisces. I don't want Pisces, but it's all a lie because deep down inside, they still feel the soulmate connection here with you. Engagement right behind it. Your love life is a sense of level commitment. Yeah. Wow. You know, I feel like at this point, this person may have been, like I said, hiding behind something or someone else, um, trying to convince someone else that they don't love you, they don't care about you. And it's kind of all a lie. It's all a lie. As someone is really hiding deep down inside, about how they truly feel about you. Like, I don't care what you say. I don't care what you're going through right now with this person. I don't care what this person, how they, they bad name you, bad talk you, whatever. This person is lying to certain people or people about how they truly feel about you. It's a lie. This person wants to reach out and talk to you. This person is waiting, but they don't know the more that they wait, the more that they wait, they just cause more confusion for themselves, more confusion for the situation. This person really wants to recapture romance here with you. Okay. That's what I see here. Pisces. It's so weird. It's a false sense of something like, this is so weird. It's like they're, they're acting a certain way, but it's not really how they feel. So I'm not sure who this person is. They're acting a certain way, but this is not truly how they feel. They're acting carefree. They're acting naive. They're acting like they don't care, but they do care. They strongly care. <laughs> and, and they can thank their ego for this, like getting in the way of making them feel this way. It's like they're determined to not show you how they truly feel. 